guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about this alleged blind item related to scream 7 in this video here today and i'll share my thoughts on that i will just again preface this all by saying this is rumored not confirmed all alleged but it would align with what we have been hearing about in the news and would explain a lot of the silence honestly although i again have my hopes that they are trying to put out the best product ever because i do not want a terrible scream movie despite all of the controversies surrounding this film now shout out to uk for sending this my way this alleged blind item related to scream 7 states the following a writer who has recently become or became a director has been brought on to helm a sequel for a well-known horror series it seems the studio was eager to have him on board possibly to help fix some issues they faced recently they were there were even rumors that they agreed to let him use his own production company for the project now all of that of course aligns with scream 7 it says however things haven't gone smoothly reports suggest that the new director is at odds with both the studio and the original writer this disagreement has led to significant delays affecting everyone from the cast to the crew. The creative team struggles to agree on the script, which is causing further holdups. Amidst this chaos, the lead actress shared her enthusiasm about the upcoming sequel with a fan, but added a note of frustration, stating they keep pushing the movie. This indicates that fans may have, a wait, have to wait longer than expected for the release. This all sounds like Scream 7. It all sounds like Scream 7, and it also would align with some of the unfortunate things that I've heard have been going on behind the scenes with certain people involved with the film. Now, I'm not going to get too in-depth about that stuff, but let's just address this blind item. This blind item, while it looks like it is the end of Scream 7, more than we already thought it might be ever since last November for some of us, I will stress this. Spyglass has nothing else. They have nothing else. If you think that Scream 7 is just going to be dead and buried for good, if it even comes to that, I I'm sorry to say that I don't think that's a really smart thing to think. Spyglass is going to, if necessary, do the same thing to Nev again, do the same thing to Kevin Williamson that they have already done to other people, like Nev herself in the past, like Melissa Barrera more recently. They are going to get rid of what is necessary to them to get rid of what they consider dead weight and they will get the movie they want all of this sounds like scream 4 to me scream 4 if you were around during that they had a lot of issues there were a lot of things that i saw rumored online about hayden panettiere about how the cast was acting around west you know all of these different things related to emma roberts and how she would come on set in certain capacities all of which again i don't think i've ever been confirmed but the controversy surrounding it led to stars dropping out. And yeah, it was just a big mess from the outside looking in. And Scream 4 still ended up being one of the better Scream sequels. A better version of Scream 3, I would say. Because I think it has a lot in common with Scream 3 when it came to the killer reveal and Jill's motivations. So, while some people might see this as a death sentence for Scream 7, I don't think it's that. I think if anything, what could happen is if you get a cancellation... That'll be a temporary thing and Spyglass will come back. It might be years from now <laughs> if it comes to that. Could be months from now. If we get that canceled, Spyglass will still do something with this IP. It just will be a complete overhaul once again. It'll be a complete overhaul. And quite honestly, I've been stating this. You probably should have done that to begin with. When you lost Melissa Barrera, because Sydney was always supposed to be back from what I recall hearing. She was always supposed to be back. She was always part of this split dual story they wanted to tell. However... The minute Melissa Barrera was lost, I think instead of rewriting the film to be solely with Sydney at the center again, I think that was your first mistake. I'm not saying that Kevin and Nev deserve what could potentially be going on. I don't think that at all. But I think the first big mistake was trying to shift focus back to Sydney Prescott. I think that was a big mistake. You should have at the beginning of all of this shifted to a narrative that had nothing to do with anything with the legacy cast anymore. No Sam, no Billy's daughter, none of that stuff. None of the relatives tied to them, nothing. Get rid of all of it, keep Ghostface, and start fresh in the same world. That's what should have happened. Now, Scream 7, I think, will end up happening. I, I think it'll happen under the current regime. I think Kevin Williamson's vision will come to light. I think him and Guy Busick, if all of this is true, will come to an agreement on something. And I think Spyglass, of course, will come to an agreement on something with them as well. I don't think Kevin Williamson will walk away from this project like he did with Scream 4. I don't think that will happen. But I wouldn't be shocked 
if there was an announcement that the film itself was being delayed even further and that it was going through other rewrites that would not include Sidney Prescott. I Something about this just, it feels like we're close to that, but I also wouldn't be shocked if it overcame all of it the same way Scream 4 overcame all of it. You're probably still going to get your Sydney story. Kevin Williamson's vision will probably still come to light. Guy Busick and him will come to an agreement on something, and that'll be the end of it. It might not be the best movie ever, but I trust we will still get something competent. But it does say a lot as to why we are quiet if this is true. It makes sense. It does make a lot of sense. They're supposed to be filming in December. That's the last official thing we heard from a cast member. There still hasn't been an official confirmation about the January stuff. That's just all come from Production Weekly and Daniel RPK. I myself have heard about January too, but I'm just saying, to give credit where credit is due, the, re the more reputable people outside of us would just be the trades, Nev, Kevin, Spyglass, anyone involved with the production directly. They haven't said anything about January. Last thing we heard about was December. We're in November. We don't have anything. Patrick Dempsey is saying that they're waiting on a script. Courtney Cox has made comments about rewrites. Nev has made comments about needing to get a final script. So the rumor, although it's alleged, it's hard to not believe it because of the comments that have come from the stars. You're in November. Patrick, if assuming none of them are lying, Patrick isn't signed. Courtney isn't signed. It, it, it just doesn't it doesn't make sense although didn't courtney wasn't there some report that stated well no that wasn't a report courtney herself basically just doubled down on her intentions to return we still haven't even gotten a report that she signed it's whatever man i mean the movie did it did it to itself the movie did it to itself i i trust and believe that they're going to come up with something that will still be of quality i trust that i trust kevin williamson will do something that is good. I don't think he'll do something that is a train wreck. But again, like I stated in my last video dedicated to Scream 7, I don't want to get so honed in on that, that it upsets me when he does give us a train wreck. I don't want to get so caught up in that, that when the movie is bad, it just hurts my soul. I want to be prepared for whatever comes of this film. I want to be prepared for it to be banished to the pits of hell that it came from. <laughs> I want to be ready to say, you know what, Kevin? You did a great job. Kevin Kevin did his thing. Nev did her thing as always when it comes to portraying the character that I love, Sidney Prescott. And we'll get another decent entry into the Scream franchise. But this rumor could end up being true. The film could fizzle out into even more chaos. Spyglass is not going to write this off at all. They have nothing else going for them. They're not going to just die out. They're going to capitalize on Ghostface one way or another. They don't care about us like that. If it's a trash movie, they don't care. As long as it's cheaply made, you're going to show up and you're going to spend your money on it. So that's all that matters to them, making a profit on a cheap IP. Not a cheap IP, but something cheap to make that's a well-known IP that people love. And let's not forget, there was actually a report from The Hollywood Reporter or one of those reputable trades where Gary Barber, who is the head of Spyglass, correct me if I'm wrong, they had comments from a source who said that Gary doesn't think he needs Nev, he doesn't think he needs Jenna. And while he's not he's not wrong in that assessment because of the fact that the IP itself has grown these big legs thanks to Ghostface being so popular, if he thinks that about those ladies, do you think for one second he doesn't think the same thing about Kevin Williamson? This is not Kevin Williamson's product. It is theirs. It belongs to them. If they want to get rid of him, and get rid of anyone else with it, they will. We don't like that, but that is the reality. I wish Spyglass would sell the rights. That is still my stance on it all. I wish they would sell the rights. But you guys let me know about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.